Hi everyone, welcome to this Happy Nap Yoga Share Yoga video. So we're going to be doing a few exercises where we can stay sitting on this chair and just easing into a gentle practice where we really connect up with the breath. So take finding a chair, preferably one that doesn't have any arms on the side, but don't worry if not. And just bringing yourself, your sit bones onto the chair and grounding the feet flat into the floor, bend in the knees. If it's the feet don't quite come down, depending on your chair, depending on your height, you can always bring a blanket underneath the feet. And then finding length through the spine, sitting up tall, resting the hands on the thighs, and just checking in that those shoulders are dropping down away from the ears. We'll bring the eyes to a close, an ever so tiny tap of the chin so we can get that length through the back of the neck. And if it's not comfortable to close the eyes, just soften the gaze down to the floor. We'll just start to focus on that natural breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Just taking this time to arrive and become fully present. Just allowing for any thoughts to pass by as you keep focusing on your breath. The famous saying, if you can breathe, you can do yoga. Whether that's in a chair, on the floor, anything that's comfortable for you. I'm going to really focus today on focusing on that breath and syncing it up with the movement. We then begin to start to deepen the breath. Expanding. Lengthening each inhale and exhale. And maybe making that breath audible to you. Really noticing the breath moving in and out of the body. That natural rise and fall of the chest. Maybe you feel that lift in the shoulders. Maybe the breath is more directed into your belly, just noticing where the body changes shape as you breathe in and out through the nose. This deep cleansing breath really calming both to the body and the mind. So trying to keep this throughout the entire class. And just noticing any areas in your body that feel tight. Anywhere you may be holding or carrying any tension. And with each inhale, direct the breath into those areas, allow them to fill up with space. And then soften, release any tension where you can as you breathe out. Feeling that breath, that prana, that life force moving in and out of your body. And on your next exhale, dropping the chin down towards the chest. So you feel that length through the back of the neck. And gently 
walking our head over towards the right hand side and bringing right ear to right shoulder and feel that space, that length through the side of the neck. Dropping that head back down, moving through centre and over to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder and feel that space along the right hand side. And just take where's comfortable. Keeping that deep breath. And then dropping that head, coming back down, chin to chest. Inhale, bring the head up through centre again, option to keep the eyes closed here. And then lifting the chin up towards the ceiling, feel that opening in the throat. And then gently bring the head back through centre. Opening the eyes if you haven't already. Inhale, lift the shoulders to the ears. And exhale, dropping them back and down. Really feel that movement. Inhale to lift. And exhale to release. One more. Inhale to squeeze. And exhale to pressing them back and down to really feel this nice openness across the chest. Keeping that spine tall, lengthened. Inhale, bring the arms out in front. And drawing the palms away from you, spread the fingers wide, plug those shoulders back and down. And then dropping the fingers and feeling that nice stretch through the top of the wrists. Maybe along down into the forearms, dropping the fingers down, taking thriller arms. Taking one more breath in. And then just drawing circles with the wrists, taking them one way and then the opposite direction. And bringing the hands together, interlace the hands, draw the palms away from you, soft bend in the elbows, tuck the chin so you feel that gentle round, that contraction of the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in. And inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead and bringing the palms behind the head and drawing the elbows out to either side. And take a deep breath in, deep breath out and keep plugging those shoulders down. Here, start to draw the belly button in towards the spine, engaging what we call that Odiana Banda, that strengthening, that activation of the abdominal wall. I'm just going to keep this engaged with this neck little exercise, helping to build a little bit of core strength and find that connection to your centre. Deep breath in and exhale, drop that left elbow down towards the left, feel that crunch in the side of the body. Inhale back through centre, exhale to the other side. Inhale through centre, then exhale, drop the elbows, drop the head, feel that round in the back, draw the belly button in. Inhale to come back through centre, we'll take that two more times. Exhale, left elbow towards the left, crunch in the body. Inhale back through centre, exhale to the other side. Inhale through centre and exhale to crunch, drop the elbows, drop the head. Inhale to come up, spread those elbows, open that chest and exhale to the left. Inhale through centre, exhale to the right. Inhale back through centre and exhale, drop the elbows, find that crunch, that space across the back of the body. Inhale to come all the way up, exhale release the arms, bring the hands together at heart centre, prayer position, Anjali Mudra. 
Take a deep breath in, lift the chest to the thumbs. And exhale, bow the head to hands. Just take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice the breath, helping to find that inner calm. Now we're going to be moving through what I call our mini sun salutation. So taking this next sequence of movement a few times, guiding you through. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Keep the hands together, drop those shoulders down. Exhale, drop the left arm down to the side. Inhale to reach and exhale over. Inhale, come back through center and bring that left arm up towards the right. Exhale, drop the right arm down. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to reach. Inhale, come back through center, right arm comes to meet the left. And exhale, fold forward, lead with the chest. Bringing the arms down again, just take what's comfortable if it's here. Bring the hands onto the thighs, by all means stay here. Or option, you can sink all the way down, bringing the chest onto the thighs. And just placing the hands where it's comfortable. And allow the head to hang heavy. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And on your next inhale, tuck the chin, roll up through the spine, coming back to that seated position. Inhale, hands come through to heart center. Exhale, bow the head to hands. Two more times. Inhale to lift, arms come up, shift the gaze towards the hands. Exhale, drop the left arm down. Inhale to reach. Exhale over. Inhale, come back through center, left to meet the right, second side. Drop that right arm down. Inhale to reach up with the left and exhale over. Inhale, come back through center, arms both come up and exhale to fold forward. And just take where's comfortable. Feel that length through the lower back. Deep breath. And on your next inhale, tuck the chin, roll up through the spine, shrug the shoulders and bring the head to come up last. Inhale, hands together at heart center. And exhale, bow the head to hands. Taking one more round. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, drop that left arm down. Inhale to reach, exhale over. Inhale back through center, left to meet the right. Second side, drop the right hand as you breathe out. Inhale to reach and exhale over. Inhale, come back through center, both arms are up overhead. And exhale to fall forward. Really elongating the breath the spine. And just find where it's comfortable for you. You don't have to come all the way down. Again, you can just stay on the thighs and just find length through the spine. Take one more breath here. And then tucking the chin, roll up through the spine wherever you are. Coming back to that seated position. Hands together at heart center. And exhale, bow the head to hands. You can just take a moment, notice how you feel. Maybe noticing a little bit more energy and heat building within you. Just focusing on that deep breath. Releasing the hands down, and just shifting yourself a little bit forward so you're just on the edge of your seat. Again, bring the feet flat on the floor. We're going to move into the legs, the lower part of the body. So just placing the hands either side of the chair. 
Inhale, lift the right heel, come onto the right toes. And exhale to lower down. Second side, inhale, lift the left heel, come onto the toes. Exhale to release. Inhale, lifting both heels, come onto the toes. Just finding a gentle stretch in that path, keeping the ankles underneath the knees and keeping length through the spine. Then exhale, drop the heels down. Take that a few more times, lifting both heels, inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last one, inhale to lift. Exhale to drop. Then just kicking that right leg forward, pointing the toes and lifting that right leg off of the floor. Again, if this is too much, just drop that leg down and just try and find as much length in that leg as you can. So keeping that leg extended. You're gonna point the toes, and then on your next exhale, flex. Point and flex, find a lift in the leg, we're building a little bit of strength here in that hip. You might feel a little bit of a burn. Take one more round and flex the toes, flex, 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 bring them towards you, feel that length through the back of the leg. Then dropping that right leg, that right heel down onto the floor and see if you can keep as much space in this leg as you can. Keep flexing the toes towards you, inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And exhale to fold. Then just take where it's comfortable if it's here, that's absolutely fine. For options to go a little bit deeper and maybe taking hold of those right toes with your right hand. Just adjust. You can see from all angles. And we're getting a gentle stretch here in that hamstring. And take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And on your next inhale, roll up through the spine. Coming all the way up. And then with this right foot, we're going to bend the knee, flip the foot and tuck it underneath the chair just as far as comfortable. So the top of that foot is on the floor. So you're getting that nice stretch over the top of the foot and some opening in this quad and in the shin. And holding here, take one more breath. And slowly release. Just take a roll of that ankle one way and then the other. And then placing that right foot on the floor. Second side. Inhale, lengthen that left leg out in front. Then pointing the toes. Finding that length, again, you can always keep this foot on the floor. And then we'll start to point and flex. So flex, point, you might feel that lift through the leg. It's taking a few more here, building strength in that hip. Maybe feeling that bone. Taking one more. And then flexing the toes towards you, flex, 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 straighten that leg as much as you can. And then dropping that left heel down, keeping a bend in this right knee, find length in the spine. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And exhale to fold. Again, you can just come here, find length in the spine. Or folding all the way down, maybe taking hold of the left toes. You can keep a gentle bend in this left leg. We don't want to put any pressure on the joints. Just using that breath to sink a little bit deeper each time. On your next inhale, slowly rolling up through the spine, bringing the feet back onto the floor, 
and then flipping this left foot, drawing it underneath the chair so the top of the foot is on the floor. You're getting that gentle opening through this quad, the shin and the top of the foot. And just holding here. Keeping that deep breath. And then releasing that left foot. Just hover off the floor, roll that ankle one way and then the other. And then releasing that foot down, come back through centre. Just take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And we're going to come into our final stretch, working on finding an opening in the hips. So two options. First option is you can just draw this right foot out towards the side. So you feel an opening in that right hip. You can just stay here, resting the hands on the thighs. Or second option is lift that right foot, bend the knee and cross this foot on top of that left thigh. And you'll have this knee dropping down towards the floor. Gravity will help ground that down and you'll feel this rotation in the hip. Don't worry about how high this hip is. It just depends on how tight you are in the hips. And you can stay here, keeping length in the spine. Or option to fold a little bit forward again, just take as far as comfortable. Keeping that deep breath. And sink a little bit deeper. Allow the body to feel a little bit heavier with each exhalation. Taking one more here. And inhale to come all the way back up if folded. Release that left leg and place it back down on the floor. And if you had it out to the side, just bring it back in through center. Second side. And left leg, you can just draw this out to the side, find the rotation in that hip. Just working here. Or if you want to go a little bit deeper, if it feels comfortable, lift the left foot and cross over that right thigh. You can use the hands to assist this. And there will be that difference between sides. Maybe this knee's a little bit lower or a little bit higher. And just find where's comfortable for you. And you can stay here, just sitting up tall with the leg like this, or leg out to the side. Or option, take a deep breath in and exhale just to fold forward. And you might notice you can go a little bit deeper on this side or maybe not. There's always that natural imbalance between the sides of the body. And just holding here. Feeling heavier with each exhale. Breathing into that hip, finding that opening. And slowly coming all the way back up. Releasing that left leg, coming back through centre. And find both feet grounding into the floor. Again, you option, you can bring yourself back a little bit further. Try and keep length in the spine. And if needed, you can rest into the back of that chair. Try and really keep this awake, full posture, resting the hands on the thighs. Grounding the feet into the floor. And bring the eyes to a close. Finishing our practice here for a few moments. Just finding that stillness. Focusing on that breath. It helps still and calm the mind. And just check if you're holding any tension anywhere. Can you drop the shoulders down? 
Maybe you're clenching in the jaw. In the jaw. So just allow that jaw to feel heavy. The tongue to relax in the mouth. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in through the nose and through the mouth. Exhale. Two more like this. Deep breath in and exhale. Sigh it out. One more. Make this your deepest inhale yet. And hold your breath at the top. And exhale, empty, release everything out. Bring your hands together at heart center, Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Take a deep breath in, lift the chest to the thumbs, and exhale, bow the head to hands. Let's take a moment to observe, notice how you feel. Accepting wherever you are today. And finally, thank yourself for taking this time, for showing up for yourself and being kind to your body and your mind. And I invite you throughout the rest of the day, whatever you may be doing, to be present, to be mindful and to be kind. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. It's been a pleasure.